Happening right now, some protests underway in Sacramento over the shooting death of Stefan Clark as friends and family said their final goodbyes. Stefan is going to live for generations to generations to generations to generations. The Clark family will never die. The Clark's brother, Stevante, spoke at today's funeral service. He's taken the lead during protests in the days since his brother's death. Here's some live pictures of the demonstrations underway this evening, and you can see activists out there in the street uh, have been demanding that charges be brought against the two officers who shot and killed the 22-year-old. Those police officers say they thought he had a gun, but he was holding a cell phone. KPI X5's Chris and Ayers is in Sacramento tonight with what's been an extremely emotional day. Chris, and just watching uh, that uh, service was was uh, was heartbreaking. You said it. It was truly emotional out here today. Those raw emotions spilling out at the funeral of Stefan Clark, the unarmed man who was shot 20 times by police in his grandmother's backyard. The Reverend Al Sharpton stood side by side with the family today, calling for justice and calling for the White House to speak about the shooting. We just feel lost. Emotions ran high outside Stefan Clark's funeral. Caroline Solomon says his death hit close to home. I felt a personal bonding to Stefan when I saw his face and I saw his grandma's face. And it just, it, it could have happened to any of us. Inside, the brother of Stefan Clark, Stevante, took the stage at the funeral and unleashed a grief stricken outburst, at one point urging the crowd to say Stefan Clark's name repeatedly. I am. I am. I am. Afterward, he embraced the Reverend Al Sharpton. You don't tell people in pain how to handle their pain. You don't tell people when you kill their loved one how to grieve. We came for the family. We came because this boy should be alive today. Clark's funeral brought hundreds of people from all over Northern California. This morning, the line wrapped around the church parking lot. Tilly Summerfield went to high school with Stefan. He was a light. He made everybody smile. Look, look at that smile. His death, she said, is a systemic problem in America, a sentiment Sharpton echoed after the service as he blasted the White House for calling Clark's death a local issue. This is not a local issue. It's a national problem. A problem that this president wants to ignore. Now, some former NBA players were at in attendance at the funeral today as well, including former warrior Matt Barnes. The Sacramento Kings have partnered with Black Lives Matter to create an education fund for Stephon Clark's children. Alan? So, Kristen, the Sacramento Kings play at home tonight. So, is something being done to prevent the fans from blocking uh, the arena like they've done twice before? Yeah, we've seen that video of that, uh, and uh, I believe we do have some images from the Golden One Center, and you can see that police are already setting up barriers and fencing their gates in that area now, and there is uh, quite a police presence there now. Uh, that game starts at about 7 o'clock, so they're certainly preparing for the possibility of any more protests. Alan, back to right, you. I said fans, I meant protesters. All right, Kristen Ayers, thanks so much.